Hi, this is Abe, and in this video I'm going to talk about primary keys and foreign keys in Oracle Database, which are also known as constraints. Now I'll give a little definition about those two, look at the syntax, and then go through a few examples to try those out. So a primary key constraint combines a not null constraint and a unique constraint in a single declaration, meaning that it prohibits multiple rows from having the same value in the same column and prohibits values from being null. Uh, an example of that would be something like uh, an employee ID or an email address. So values in those fields must be unique and they must be present. Now a foreign key constraint requires values in one table to match values in another table. So a parent-child relationship, if you will. Now keep in mind that all tables should have at least one primary key to describe uniqueness. So in my previous video, I created a few tables. If you look over here on the left under XE Jerry, I have a connection to my database called it XE Jerry. Over here, you'll see a few tables. Again, I created that table with just those columns. Uh, if you would like to know more about that or how I went about and did that, feel free to go back and check that video out. Now, again, at the moment, there is no relationship between these tables whatsoever. And I, I did that on purpose just so that I can go into more depth and talk about the, these constraints and then add these constraints to those tables. Now, since I've already created my tables, I'll have to do an alter table command to add the primary key and the foreign key constraints. And to do that, we'll look at the, the syntax here. So basically, keywords alter table and then table name followed by add constraint and then provide a constraint name of my choice, followed by the keyword primary key, or keywords, primary key, and followed by the column name that I'm trying to apply this primary key to. If I want to have more than one column with a primary key, just separate it with a comma, and then end that statement with, semi with a semicolon. Now for the foreign key constraint, very similar, alter table, and then provide the table name, followed by the uh, keywords add constraint, provide a constraint name of my choice, followed by the keywords foreign key, give the column name that I'm trying to apply this to, and then followed by keywords or keyword references, and specify the parent table and column name that this foreign key references. And then end it off with a semicolon. So I'll start off with the primary key, basically issue the alter table. And the first table I want to apply this to is fr friend name, next line, and add constraint. I'm going to call this friend underscore name underscore PK. Now it's a good idea to name the constraint basically after the table name, followed by a um, PK, primary key um, extension, if you will. Um, I do this just in case I'm, I'm looking at the constraints later on. Just by looking at that, that name, it's easy to ad identify where that uh, primary key applies to or is referencing. So next line. Follow that by primary key, and then you have to specify the column name. And the column name I want to use is friend underscore ID. Close that bracket, semicolon to terminate it. Now, so basically what this is what this means is that every record that we insert into the friend name table, it must have a unique friend ID. And I'll show you what the, and over here on the left, you'll see the column names under friend name. It's got a friend ID column. So if I want to enter data into this table, what I'm saying here is that the friend ID column has to be unique. So if I have 10 friends, I have to have numbers 1 through 10. So there's the first one. I'll run this statement. It says table friend, friend name altered. 
Now the next one, I'll just paste this in just for the sake of time. Now what we're saying here is that every record we insert into the phone number table must have a, a unique phone ID. And I'll run that statement. This is table phone number altered. I'm going to add another one and the address table. And what this means is every record we insert into this table must have a unique address ID. I'm going to run that. It says table address altered. Do another one. This is also a primary key. Now, in this one I've added two columns. Same idea. It's applying a primary key to the friend ID column and to the address ID column in, fr in the friend address table. So we'll run that. So friend address altered. Just a couple more here. And I'll be, I'll be including the, all these statements on my blog just so you could try those out on your own and, and just play around with those. So don't worry about um, you know, trying to pause the video or whatever. Uh, I'll include a link to my blog in the description box under this video so you can have a look at that. So this one here, we're trying to alter the friend phone table. Again, adding two primary keys to the friend ID and phone ID. I'm going to run that. Friend phone altered. Okay, now for the foreign keys, Again, I'll paste those in just for the sake of time. So alter table, friend address, and constraint. And I'm naming this friend address, friend underscore FK. Again, if just in case if I look at the constraint later on, I'll have an idea that it's a foreign key constraint. And here's where, what it's referencing, the friend address table. Follow that by foreign key, friend ID, and then references friend name, friend ID. Now what this means is that every friend ID we use in the friend address table must already exist in the friend name table. So the parent record here is the friend name table. Okay, I hope that makes sense. I'm gonna run that. Table friend address altered. I'll add just a couple more here. To run that. This is table friend address altered. And this one here, we're altering the friend phone table. And here the parent record is the friend name table. I don't know why I did the this, but very similar idea. Here's the constraint, here's the foreign key, and there's the reference. Again, if you have them on the same line, just make sure you put a space in between them. It doesn't really matter. I like to do it this way, just I guess it's just easier to read. So we end that with a semicolon, run that, friend phone altered, and one last one, and here the parent record is the phone number table. Okay, so run that. Friend phone altered. So once you add those foreign key constraints, if you insert a record into friend phone, for instance, and the phone ID in the parent table phone number doesn't exist, Oracle will give you an error. So the phone ID must be present in the in the parent table for you to be able to enter it into the friend phone table. So now let's have a look at our tables to see the constraints we added. If we go here on the left, if you click on address under on the right side here, click on constraints, and then you can see that it has a constraint and gives you a constraint type. Gives you a bunch of other data here too that we'll get into in a future video. But again, if you click on each one of those tables that we have, it shows you what sort of constraints are on it and then the types of constraints as well.
and then here's what we called them. And under friend name as well, you see there there's one. Under friend phone, there's three of them. Under phone number, there's one. And this table here, I created a previous video. Um, and as you can see, we didn't do anything with the products table. So there, there's really nothing there. Okay, so there you have it. We, uh, we talked about primary keys, foreign keys, ran through some examples, and verified our results. I'll be posting the, uh, the script that I used here uh, to my blog, which I'll link to in the description box below. So go ahead and check it out. Um, I'll try to include some, some reading material on there too. Um, and hopefully this gives you a, a starting idea of, of uh, understanding uh, primary keys and foreign keys. Hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, and like, and see you later.